The legal fight over exploding phones is escalating. Samsung faces a first-class action lawsuit targeting several of its smartphones beyond the recall of the Note 7. The complaint filed yesterday in California claims that the Samsung Note 5, S6, S7 phones all pose a risk of overheating fire and explosion. Now, Samsung told CBS this morning, we don't comment on pending litigation, but we'd like to underscore that the issues with the Galaxy Note 7 are isolated to only that model. Potentially flammable lithium ion batteries are in many electronics, including Samsung phones. The Department of Energy is spending tens of millions of dollars on creating a safer alternative. Jan Crawford is in a lab at the University of Maryland, where one research project is showing some promising results. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So we're here at this research lab at the University of Maryland where this small ceramic device is replacing the combustible components of lithium ion batteries. And we got to take a look and see how it held up under fire. So this is kind of like the lithium solution that's in our phones. Exactly. Research scientists at the University of Maryland are showing us how they plan to build a better battery, one that can't catch fire. The disc on the left is coated with a naturally combustible carbon-based solution typical of what's used in all of the lithium-ion batteries powering today's smartphones. It is then exposed to an open flame. That's what happens. That's, that's, that's what that's happens. The problem. On the right is a lithium-conducting ceramic disc designed in this campus lab. So it can handle thousands of degrees without any issues. Because it's ceramic, it is absolutely inflammable. You cannot burn the ceramic. Professor Eric Waxman is director of the university's Energy Research Center, where nearly 20 projects are being funded by the Department of Energy to find alternatives to store energy. It's just been a push to get more energy out of the battery. You want it to last longer. You want the electronics to do more. It, you know, you, this is not a, a typical phone, for example, the Samsung. I mean, it's, it's basically a mini computer. You're putting all of that information, all of that, that processing power in a very, very small device, and you want the battery to also be as small. After Samsung's new smartphone started catching fire, Professor Walkman's nearly three-year endeavor to create a non-combustible battery started getting a lot more attention. Has your phone started ringing off the hook? We've been contacted by numerous companies all over the world, both email and phone. I mean, where are we now in terms of the development? So this size is fine for, you know, little, the little batteries, little coin cells you might see that, that, that go into um, hearing aids or whatever, small little round ones. But to get the larger size, it's just a matter of scaling up the size. I hear stories about new battery advancements all the time. It's always just a question of whether that's something that'll really pan out. All right, let's take a look. Eric Limer is the deputy editor at popularmechanics.com. We asked him to watch the same burn demonstration as seen earlier. It's one thing to make a development uh, on a battery in a lab and actually create a battery that can that can can work and can hold electricity well. It's a completely other thing to build the factories that can build that battery. So this is the cycling back and forth. But Professor Waxman says a safer battery can and will be mass produced. We have manufacturing partners and we expect to have a product in the next few years. So right now you couldn't just say to Samsung, well we've got it, just start using these. But you're, would you say, could we say you're close? Or? Well, we'd like to say that we have a company, and if they would like to invest, we'd be happy to talk to them. Because you think this is doable? I know it's doable. Now, it's also the goal of these researchers to keep manufacturing these batteries here in the United States. The overwhelming majority of lithium-ion batteries, 85%, in fact, are made in Asia. Nora? Fascinating, Jan. It's nice that, that, that they're doing that. It is. Jan, I went to University of Maryland. I was didn't spend a lot of time in the science lab. I was at Lidl's Pizza. <laughs> but it's nice to know that, that the lab is doing the work that it's doing there. Yeah. Very proud to see it's it. It's really impressive. Jan, it's really impressive. impressive. Jan, you look, you look pretty good this morning. I, I heard you were staying up late last night to watch the Cubs. The rumor. Not only did I stay up late, my kids were up until 2 a.m. So I'm sorry your teacher's there, but what a victory. Extra innings, a rain delay. Yes, they Go had Cubs. everything. So, Jan, if you had to choose yeah. between the Cubs and Alabama, who Don't would you make choose? Me choose? Do not, do not make me choose, Charlie. I cannot choose. You know, Alabama, we like to do it every year. The Cubs, 108 <laughs> years. I mean, you know, don't make me choose, though. All Let's right. Let's do both. Let's we'll do give both. you a pass. Good times. <laughs> Please go to Lido's <laughs> Pizza before you leave. I highly recommend it. Years later, I still I remember need some it. Pizza. All right. Bye, Jan. Bye, Jan.